Hi guys, it's Danny from Bell's Beauty Box. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a glitter cut. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna use um, this color called Pipsqueak. Um, always try and use a base color that's similar as possible to your glitter. Because then if anything looks like it's missing, it's not really gonna show. Like if your glitter falls off, etc gives you more of a faux coverage without actually having to have a faux coverage. So, put this one on. Not to worry too much about it being a faux coverage on the nail because glitter's going on. So, pop that in your lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So, I've gone for um, a Wendy glitter, which is lovely. Got a little spill tray to catch any excess. So I'm literally just gonna dab this into the tacky layer once it's cured. Also, I'm going to incorporate um, some hexacons, um, Charlotte hexacons they are called from Magpie Beauty. Um, I'm going to use the contrasting color of Mona Lisa. So it's nice and autumn. I think it'll go quite nicely and then finish off with double tacky top coat. So just wait for that to cure for a few more seconds. Uh, what's handy as well is a little bit of blue tack on your dotting tool to pick up um, shapes or gems. If you haven't got one of those fancy ones, this is Danny's do it yourself one. Bit of blue tack. Cool, right, so that's nearly done. So now that's done, it's gonna have that tacky layer. So you can just load up your brush and then just dab in to the color. Like I've said before, I'm not stingy with glitter, just pop it on. As long as there's a tray underneath, it's gonna catch all the excess, so you're not gonna waste any, so don't worry about that. Already she's looking lovely. She's getting ready to go out, she's not quite dressed yet. So then using a duster brush, just wipe off the excess. Don't go too rough because it'll just sweep off the everything. Just get it back off. Cool. Now I use a separate one for top coating for glitter. So as you can imagine, it gets in the brush. So if we just try and do a bit of a floaty, he says, when you're just gonna throw in the brush, it helps. And almost like a floaty layer, just so it doesn't drag anything off. I think this one's running out. Picked a good bottle to do this one, didn't I? That will give me something to stick my shapes to. So I'm going to pop my shapes in here. I'm going to get my little cheating tool. And just where you think you're going to hit your cuff, just pop a few. Nothing too major. You don't have to have them. I just thought, why not? Put it into the uncured layer. It's too stuck together, that's a little bit annoying. So, there we are, the spirals. And then cure that for 60 seconds. Just wait for that. Again, just to clean your brush. Just move it around. No chemicals needed. It should get it all out for you. And then any excess. Use your duster brush. Duster brush is your best friend. 
Danny doesn't have any friends apart from his glitter, so that's why. There we go. And then we need to get rid of this. Put that over there, put my lids on, if I knock them all over. These are so versatile as well, you can literally do anything with them. Put this one back on. Just in time for my nail to come out. Thank you. So now that one's cured, we are going to go in with Mona Lisa. So we're just going to create that um, cuticle. He's got the shades, trying to get a straight line. You can just adjust it where you need to. Danny's OCD as well, so he's always adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. So sometimes he can be a forever. So you don't want to be here forever, so you would try and hurry up. Right, so get that cured so then we can focus on another 60 seconds. And then we do a second coat. I like this song lately, didn't I? So now that one is cured, we are going to tidy this up to make it a look a little bit more presentable. seconds this is a super lovely color as well there we go so that one's cured then we are going to go <coughs> excuse me straight in with don't be tacky dry cure top coat It has a beautiful shine. Uh, this is going to look super shiny, super sexy, super bottom. So, final 60 seconds, um, and then we will show, show you the end result. Put that on. Duh. So there we have it, a glitter cuff with a little hexagon shapes. So if you can see that my shadowing. There we go.